Hello everyone. Today we're here to talk about Makino's alignment slash taper jig. As you can see, I already have that in the machine right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the steps uh, to talk about that. Now, visually, I'm only gonna show you here the vertical alignment movements, um, but then we will discuss some of the other features that it has as well, okay? So, uh, jig's already in the machine. Now we can go onto the machine control, go to the preparation screen, calibration and taper jig compensation page. Uh, so first of all, what we have here is a, an image of the screen. It has some preparatory information, uh, making sure that there's no dust or debris on the jig, uh, things of that nature. Uh, then we're gonna go down to our compensation selection where we have three different items that we can do. One being the vertical position, one being guide distance, and the last one being adapt taper. Um, right now, like I said today, we're just gonna talk about the vertical position. Next, we're gonna go to preparation, and on the screen, uh, it shows uh, we're gonna select where that jig is on the table. So jig is on the right side of the table. I'm gonna press number one here, which correlates to the right side of the table. Uh, then what I have is I have uh, additional pin compensation. So if my jig is sitting in there and it's not sitting exactly perfectly at zero, um, I can use a dial indicator and measure my pins. Maybe they're a tenth off or so. Put that information in the control so the control knows that the pins are off a tenth and it will correctly compensate for that. Uh, next thing that you're going to do is you're going to perform an AWT, automatic wire thread. So uh, if the wire isn't already threaded, you're going to thread the wire. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move our Z axis to 1.6 inches or 40 millimeters in the machine coordinate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. Then the last item we're going to do is we're going to set our Z limit so we don't crash down on top of the jig by accident. Set that Z limit. And then the last step here is move the X and the Y axes uh, right in front of the pin, which is the starting location. So match the graphic that's on the control. Okay. So what we're gonna do, just get it roughly in the center of the pin for our starting location. And then go to the run page, hit the taper jig compensation button and then hit the start button. So normally what you would do is you would fill the tank up and we would do submerge pickup, but just we're doing this so you guys can see all the movements here. So what this is doing for the vertical alignment is it's moving back and forth and touching uh, both pins, top pin and bottom pin, and then aligning to that reference. So it's aligning the wire to those pins which are vertical. First, it's gonna do the X, U axis. Uh, then afterwards, it moves back and does the Y, V axis. So, starts off, picks up, does all that in about a couple of minutes. Next thing that I said this is capable of, so right now, we're just doing the vertical position, but we also have our guide distance. So, guide distance and adapt taper are both for if you're going to be doing any taper or four axis machining. Um, so what that will do is that we'll touch back and forth at an angle, calculate the guide height distance, and then our adapt taper function, you have eight possible compensation values. So if let's say you're machining one degree, three degree, five degree, eight degree, 10 degree, so on and so forth, you can set up exact compensation values for those uh, as well. So those basically run exactly the same, only it tilts back and forth at those specified angles. Uh, so you would run those sequentially. Do your vertical position first, once that's set, then do the guide distance, once that's set, then do the adapt taper. And we are finished here now. Then we can see on the screen here our vertical position. We have a measurement result and we have a current value. Uh, so right now our U direction is uh, actually within zero of current vertical and then V direction is within uh, tenth. So uh, within a, a tenth or a couple of tenths is where this jig is going to get you. Um, and then what we would do at the very end to reset this, press and hold, hit the data set button, and that's going to reset our vertical alignment now. So 
That is our taper jig compensation, and that is showing off the vertical alignment feature.